there are five subtypes of boredom in psychology research. Boredom is very interesting emotion because it is low in intensity and low in displeasure. So all emotions can be described by pleasure and arousal. So high intensity emotions and also low in pleasure could be anger or even different kinds of sadness. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, boredom is a bit different because it's it's like a hidden emotion, and it's, they say it's a silent killer. But these five subtypes are actually not so uh, destructive. It, they can even be positive in a way. First subtype of boredom is what we call indifferent boredom. It's low in intensity, but low in pleasure, a positive aspect. So it is actually a pleasurable emotion with low intensity, and you're okay to do absolutely nothing. Second one is called calibrating. The second one is when we have a bit more arousal and a bit more displeasure. So this emotion will push us into action. This is its function because now we are beginning to, you know, move. We know that we need to move. Third one is searching boredom. It is even higher in intensity and low in displeasure, even has positive balance. And last one in the original model is called reactive boredom. It is even in a way frustration boredom and people get you know, frustrated because they don't know what they do and agitated and jumpy and so on and the last one is after this process there should be some kind of resolution but if there is nothing behind it then we have apathy it is low intensity arousal and pretty in the middle negative kind of emotion that has uh, longer uh, duration so this is these are different boredom types and they all serve some kind of purpose except for the last one we should recognize it and get us moving how by remembering few things that we are you know into enthusiastic about this will start these neurons to you know fire and wire and so on